Good morning and welcome as we continue our daily devotions. Uh, today we are completing our read through of the letter of James. We're looking at James chapter 5 verses 13 and 20. So confession, this term, it stirs up memories for everyone, whether it's a day at court or a child caught in some misdeed or a counseling session. Whatever the memory is, for many of us, it's probably not a pleasant one. The thought of confession, of confessing a specific sin to a specific person, it makes our stomachs drop, our skin begin to sweat, our hearts begin to race. Although the process of confession can be painful, confession does bring healing. In James chapter 5, verse 16, he writes, Therefore confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. See, hiding sickness only allows the sickness to grow and spread. If you've got strep throat, you need to go and see a doctor. In the same way, hiding sin doesn't make it go away either. Confessing to God sets our focus on Jesus. When you confess your sin, you rely on his forgiveness and you thank him for it. Confession removes what stands between you and Christ. And when you confess your sins to others, that is equally powerful. That confession and reconciliation which follows removes the walls of sin and past hurts that grow up between ourselves and other people. And it makes a way to share the forgiveness of Christ with others. So I hope you take the opportunity today to confess your sins to God and confess your sins to those around you. Have a great day.